ask something that might be considered spoilery, I will say lactose. But um, in general, that's what we're going with. So here we go. Do I just do it? Do I do it? Do I need to change any options? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. So basically the only mods that I added, by the way, are widescreen resolution, bigger menus, and bigger fonts. Let's go. Okay. So the spoiler safe word is lactose. There we go. Thank you, Fahrenheit. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Character generation, choose your class. So, male scoundrel, male scout, male soldier, battle ready fighter with no equal in combat, an explorer, most at home on the fringes of space. I kind of like that. A skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile. That sounds sexy. That sounds sexy. Um. Oh shoot, I haven't given you access to BTTV, oops. Should I be the sexy rogue character or the... I think this is, sounds pretty cool too, an explorer. Is there is there gonna be like a big impact? Where's the pirate? <laughs> I think this is the closest to pirate. The thing does the thing with the thing. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> okay, so nobody's gonna give me an is there are there big implications to choosing this? It does have a pretty okay. Is it fair for me to act ask for a lactose here? Because But then the thing is I have no idea how I'm gonna wanna play this game. This is your class. Okay, but what does this do? Like if I choose scoundrel, does that mean I'm gonna be like actually sneaking and like I'm gonna have to sneak and I'm gonna get one shot in combat and what the heck does an explorer mean as a class like what is that is that a mage you'll be fine whatever this is make me want to boot up Kodor <laughs> you've got this okay so nobody's giving me any implications other than the fact that it is gonna impact my gameplay so I kind of want to go with the scoundrel. You're going to play an easy so there's not really a difference. Okay. Wait, it didn't even ask me difficulty. You can pretty much do what you want. Okay, thank you. We'll choose the scoundrel. Um, I don't know. Custom character. Oh god, I haven't done character creation in so long. <clears throat> okay, these characters don't actually look that bad. Like... This is 2003? These are all pre-made. The widescreen mod looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, right? I don't know. It's just like, it's a lot easier on my eyes because when I was looking at it before, the game was only taking up like a quarter of the screen and I was like, I'm used to playing on full screen, you know? Um. <clears throat> so wait, these are all pre-made. Can I customize this at all? Or do I have to pick like one of these completely pre-made? No custom. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be too picky on selecting. I, I'm not going to get to get my usual. Okay. So I feel like I'm going between this lady and this lady. 
I feel like I'll just go with the brown hair one. I feel like this is like... If you want custom, you have to install mods. Hello, Mr. Asthmatic, welcome in! <clears throat> I'll go with her. Okay. Attributes. The attributes of your character apply bonuses or penalties to everything. See, like, look how nice and big the text is now. I hope you guys can, like, kind of see it better because I don't think you would have been able to read it before. Before the mods. Those are the two I was going between. They're pretty... Honestly, the characters don't look bad. Like, I don't know. I would have been happy with, like, any of those. Uh, wait. The attributes of your character apply bonuses or penalties to everything from combat to skill checks. Oh, it's like D&D? You know? Rye love high e -E -I. <gasps> Rye, how are you? It's so good to see you. I hope your travels are going well. Thank you so much for the six months. I can't believe it's been that long. I hope you're doing so well. Y'all, if you don't also know Rye, you need to make yourself acquainted. Um, I hope you're I hope it's I hope it's all going well. We are we are starting our first playthrough of Kodor, like literally making our character. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Life is wonderful, good. I just I I was literally like, I hope you're just happy. I just hope you're happy. So that's like the best thing I could hear. Um, it's D&D &D stats with space names. Okay, so in my head, I can rely on D&D &D knowledge a little bit. I'm still going to read the, the, the descriptions here. Penalties from everything from combat to skill checks to force powers. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm going to have the force. The force in 2003. Um, check each attribute to see what aspects of the gameplay it can affect. Strength measures physical power. High strength adds modifiers. So they start with equal. I have 30 points. I'm surprised they didn't give me something for like my class selection, like bonuses or... High strength adds modifiers to melee damage and chance to hit, which is important for characters that use close combat weapons. Lightsabers! Ooh. Dexterity measures agility and reflexes, adds modifiers to range attacks, blasters and grenades. So basically, do you want to fight like a Jedi or do you want to fight like a clone? I know nothing about this game, me either. Um, other than that, it's Star Wars and from 2003 and Bioware. Um, I have been, well, I've been getting a lot of family time. Um, I've had a few good trips this summer. Nothing super major, but just like refreshing. Like I, I just want to stay in this summer kind of like experience forever. So I'm doing pretty well. I'm so glad that you're happy. This game was built on a very modified version of Bioware's engine for Neverwinter Nights. Okay, so very like D&D, okay. <clears throat> so if I'm gonna be this like stealth class, it's so hard for me to make, I don't know if I'm gonna like completely mess up my character, but you guys said if I'm playing on easy, it'll probably be okay. Vitality points. Soldiers and Jedi Guardians. Okay, I don't know. Intelligence represents knowledge and reasoning. A high intelligence adds modifiers to the number of points a character has to spend on essential skills. So basically you get more experience, I think. Willpower and Perception. High Wisdom adds modifiers to Jedi Force points and Force power. Ooh, so I can be strong in the Force if I level up my Wisdom. Nothing matters on easy. Okay. I don't... Where do you even select? Hello, Elder Scroll. I don't know if the default setting is easy, but I didn't change the difficulty to easy or, or medium or anything, so. <clears throat> I hope you're doing well, Elder Scroll. Welcome in, Lithographer. What do you mean, W3? <gasps> Tater Tots, hello! Oh, you're already passing out. Okay, sleep well. It's good to see you. It's good to see you though. Once you get into the game. Okay. You found this game very hard? Okay. 
You might want to be a Jedi if you don't level your scoundrel too much. I have no idea. You guys are so far ahead of me on the class stuff. They're sort of version of a rogue. They're all technically martial classes. Soldier, fighter, scoundrel, rogue. Okay. You can branch out as you go. Okay. Because I don't know, like, if you play a rogue in this and there's, like, blasters or melee weapons, that means I feel like you should be using ranged weapons, but I'm not really sure. I feel like you could go either. But um, I don't know. Uh, the force powers of the Jedi with wisdom are much harder. I'm going to put all of my all of my points in wisdom. <laughs> oh, wait, click recommended. Where? Oh, yeah. Wait, that's such a good idea. Thanks for pointing that out. I was like, there's got to be a class setting here somewhere. That's a, that's better. That's better. OK, so they recommend lower strength, higher dex, lower. Con I'm going to die. I'm used to playing such tanky characters. I'm just going to get destroyed if I try to play a rogue. But I play Sniper in Mass Effect. It'll be fine, you guys. Temperature's only 73. Good. You're staying cool. I'm, I, I don't know. I might be a Sith. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, Intelligence. I mean, I could just leave it at the default, I think. Wait, charisma is personality. The ability to lead a high charisma adds modifiers to force-related feats and powers that are very important for all. Jedi class is also central to any persuasive talker. Um, I think I'll just leave it at the defaults. They are way sexier. Okay. If that's- if nobody's giving me any red flags, I'm gonna just go ahead. If I'm about to do something really wrong, I mean, try not to spoil or anything, but if I'm about to do something really messed up, <laughs> try to stop me. <laughs> Your stats would be eight across the board. My realistic stats would probably be like ones. We need our own red flag. Yeah, I need. I really need to make a list of all the emotes that we want to get. Okay, feats. Wait. How do I do feats? Feats. It still has me click on skills. Did I not? What? Oh, did I click cancel? Oh wait, there's more skills. What is this? Page two? Okay, recommended. Um, sorry, computer use. Oh God. How to fix your lagging stream. <clears throat> A character displays computer programs using disposable logic grams called computer spikes. A character might disable gun turrets or flood a patrol area with more complicated tasks requiring more spikes. Boring. Demolitions. Disarm mines. Oh great, there's gonna be bombs. Okay, great. <laughs> What? What did I do? <laughs> if you're about to do something really long, we'll clip it. Yeah, like Saren. Like Saren. Thank you. I can always rely on you guys. Yeah, I'm playing Scoundrel. This is skills. I was attributes. Thank you, Lily. I was calling them skills. Stealth. Okay, so basically it's giving me some points. In security, treat injury. Oh my gosh, I should read all of these. Stealth governs the use of camouflage devices to enter stealth mode. If a character equips such a device and activates stealth mode, opponents must make an awareness check. Oh my god, it is like D and D. Uh, versus the character's stealth um, skill to be unable to detect them, even if a character is in a direct line of sight. So stealth archer build. Okay. Set, disable, recover mines, use computers, repair droids, open doors and containers. Party members will not automatically enter combat. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Awareness. I would have a zero awareness in real life. Governs the ability of a character to spot objects or enemies hidden by stealth. Okay. It's always active. Persuade. Only the main character can select this skill during level up. Persuade options appear in dialogue when in... Interesting or sensitive information is available. Ooh, are you like mind tricking them almost? But not really. When selected, rank in the skills compared with how extreme the request is. 
A guard might easily agree to increase a bounty, but convincing him to leave his post would be much harder. Ah, come on, he's just a guard. Repair, you can fix mechanical devices. That sounds useful. So you can repair a bunch of stuff, security, hacking into things. I'm guessing I'll learn this stuff as I go. Wow, Liz, welcome in, it's good to meet you. I'm trying to be a little bit thorough, but I'm also like very anxious to get into the game. I think I did recommend it, but I did the skills myself. I can't remember which I choose. <sighs> Foreign security zero. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Hacking with spikes. <laughs> I think the skill the game wants you to fail. Yeah, why did they give me I'm kind of curious that they gave me a zero in persuade. Because like Treat injury? Come on, put that down to zero. Give me more persuade. Repair? Oh no. <laughs> Demolitions. Eh. You can only put it up to four. Um, how does that balance look to you guys? Is that looking okay? Difficulty checks? I know. Just the guard. <laughs> There's a character that only opens dialogue with higher fare. That's cool. Demolitions are pretty unimportant. More pers I can only put the persuade up to four. They only let me put it up to four. I think four is the... Wait, let me just... Yep. I can't. <clears throat> You'll have party members who are good at some of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check for class or cross-class skills just above the description. Oh... Class skill. Cross class skill. So I'm looking for the ones that say class skill, right? So demolition, stealth, awareness, persuade. They didn't give me any persuade though. Why? Uh, repair isn't really. Can I put these down to zero? Or is that really throwing? If you put something on zero, is that really bad? Oh, they cost two points. Oh. Oh. I see. No, you just won't be able to do it at all. <laughs> Anti-social and boring. <laughs> Throw them wherever you want them. Okay. I think I'm going a middle ground between being slightly thoughtful about this and also just kind of picking things that look cool to me right now. I think I'm going to go with this. I don't have anything in computer use though, so I better have someone who's good at computers <laughs> in my party. Um, maybe I should put one from demolition into computer use. Nah, demolition's in my class. You won't be able to do them all in a single playthrough. Oh, okay. Four is the most you can do, yes. Okay. Any, any red flags here that you guys think I should fix? Without, without completely backseating what I do, just like anything that you think will totally screw it over if I don't. Um, fine. You might want to up your repair and tech skill. Repair. That's a cross-class skill for me. And computer use, I'm guessing. Don't ask me, I always mess it up. You're good? Okay, I'm just gonna go forward with it. We're just gonna kind of wing it. <clears throat> Wait, Fahrenheit, why did you at me? You're good? Were you adding me for something important? That's, there's a skill I never use. Okay, two, okay. I'm guessing everyone plays this game differently, so. I think the advice is useful to a certain extent, but then it's like, it is kind of, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, we're going. Now feats, now we're onto the feats. Some feats will allow you to use special items like heavy armor or implants. Other feats modify saving throws. Oh, saving throws. 
Do I get a saving throw when I'm like dying or do I just die? And skill checks during the game and some feats power attack are used during combat. This is stressful. Can I have this like auto? This is stressing me out. You have been granted the following feats this level. Armor proficiency light. Critical strike. Sniper. Ooh. A sniper. Weapon proficiency blaster. Melee. Blaster rifle. Blaster pistol. Sneak attack. Ooh. Scoundrel's luck. Look at that. Scoundrel's sexiness too. Wait. I am reading it. Am I supposed to click these individually? Don't worry. I'll read it. I'm just, I'm just, it overwhelms me right now. Like, what is this? What am I supposed to do here? Recommended? The following feats have been recommended. Dueling. Uh... Okay. What, what is this? I'm so confused. I have one point to choose on an available feat. And I just chose it on dueling. <laughs> um, add feet. You have selected all your available feats. I'm just confused. Like, are these the feats over here? Oh. Oh, you do just click on these tiny, tiny icons. And these are all different feats. That are like passive skills and abilities, basically, that your character does. So let's look, let's see what the dueling one was. Because it didn't give me a description. Wait. Sneak attack adds one to six points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. If extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target against stunned or immobilized targets and any attacks made while in stealth mode, combat cancels stealth mode. But the first attack receives a bonus. Okay. You know, this would help if I actually played Rogue in D&D, but I don't. I play Fighter. I'll walk away to make dinner to pack. Wait, why? What's wrong with my character? <laughs> Shadow Dread, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, the icons are still small, but it's okay. Um, Very important non-spoiler tip. Wait, what is? You're playing on normal difficulty? I have no idea. I've never played this before, so... The game differentiates between melee proficiency and lightsaber proficiency. Oh, that is important to know. I'm doing good. It's good to hear. You could have played a fighter too. I know. <laughs> There's nothing okay. Well, Fahrenheit, good luck with your, with your dinner either way. Um... So that is good to know. So melee, you're saying melee and lightsaber are different. Where's the lightsaber one? Because I got a critical threat range of melee attacks. If a weapon needs a roll of 20, a critical hit will result in 19 or 20. Target is stunned unless they make a fortitude save. Oh, you're not supposed to know about them. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to like balance between not completely screwing up and I, th I think we're just gonna probably go forward with these. So we got light armor, critical strike for melee. We have ranged attacks here with sniper shot. Which is like the same thing as the melee thing, but for ranged. Um, blaster proficiency. Blaster rifle pro proficiency. I don't think I'm going to read through every single possible feat we could put in. Hand-to-hand -hand melee. Oh, vi vibro vibroblades. I don't know what a vibroblade is. Or other powered or unpowered item. And then the sneak attack. Okay. Should read dueling. Oh yeah, that's the one. Oh, I can scroll down. I was that's the one I was looking for. <laughs> Completely forgot about it. Okay. 
Uh, scoundrels look. Scoundrels have a knack for getting into trouble, but to compensate, they also possess an incredible instinct for survival. Oof. This manifests as a truly useful plus two to defense. <laughs> a truly useful. This feat is always active. Okay, so maybe I won't die instantly. And then this is the dueling. Character that focus on using single one-handed weapons in battle gain a plus one to attack and a plus one to defense due to the efficiency of this form of combat. This applies to both ranged and melee weapons. So I'm not sure, can you dual wield? Hey, it's your Laxel hat. Here we go. It's a feat only for cultured people. <laughs> Wait. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Do you guys think dueling sounds useful there? Or is there something that you would recommend aside from that? You can dual wield? Oh. oh. Okay, I kind of want to dual wield. <laughs> regret it wait 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 i want to i want to regret it too i want to regret it too i want to be like ahsoka <laughs> is that a bad choice should i stick with dueling <laughs> should i do that <clears throat> remove feet Let's 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 try it. Okay. I do willed it was the best decision I made. I think dueling at two weapon fighting also apply to lightsabers. That would be cool. That would be super pog. Both blades and pistols. I can be like Rex! Wait, I can also be like Rex! Okay. I think I'm gonna go with this. Name. What should I name myself? I always just name myself Melanie. Darth. <laughs> uh, I always dual wield. Why I have one when dual wielding is so fun. I. My favorite thing ever is in Dragon Age Origins being a warrior, but also dual wielding. Kanan, banned. Banned. Darth Idol, Darth. Do you guys really? What if I'm not? What if I'm Darth Kanan? What if I'm not a Sith, though? Okay, you guys are such trolls. You're going to make me cry. Dual wielding applies to all available weapons except blaster rifles. Oh, since you so you can't snipe. Double snipe. Obi Mel. <laughs> Darth Ray. <laughs> Darth Garrus. Oh my god. Um. I'm so bad. I don't know. Should we do something like that? But then, like, I'm like, what if I don't end up going dark side? Um. <laughs> Darth Kanan. Geralt Kenobi. <laughs> like, uh, this is 4,000 years early. This will be funny in 4,000 years, by the way. Our newest Jedi. <laughs> Darth Mel. Darth Melanie the Wise. Honestly, you guys, I think we should do it even if, even if I'm light side. I think that's kind of fun. <laughs> Darth. My first name's gonna be Darth. <laughs> Darth Maul's wife. <laughs> well, he just doesn't know it yet. 4,000 years early. Never too early for love, right? I almost wrote it. Darth Mal. We might just go with Darth Mal. <laughs> it's like Mel Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the Skywalker bloodline, actually. <laughs> Darth Plaggy P. <laughs> Darth Laxel. Wait, that's such a good one, too. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Melanie? <laughs> it's a Sith legend. 
Wait, should we do Darth Laxel or Darth Mel? Or we could do Darth Mel Axel because that's the name that we came up with for our um, our rider character in Andromeda. I don't know. You guys are coming up with so many good options. You're all so witty. And I'm sitting here like I'm going to name myself Melanie. <laughs> it sounds like Alex. <laughs> Darth Milk. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Darth Milk. Darth Milks! Milks! It's like a mixture of Jalaxel, Mel, and Milk. <laughs> Milk. <clears throat> Okay. I don't know how to decide between these, so we're just gonna go with, um, Darth Depression. <laughs> we're gonna go with... God, I'm literally, like, crying. Not, not quite, but, like, my eyes are watering. Yeah, we'll go with Malaxel again, I think. I think that's a good one. <clears throat> Darth Mole <laughs> Melks. I don't know about the Darth thing. It's really bad. Does that mean everyone's gonna call me Darth? Kid Darkness. You know what? Be proud of it. Be proud of it. I'm kind of just. This is really bad, but I think we're gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> okay. Any last problems with this character? <laughs> the milk. Somewhat Darth. That would also be pretty good. The tide of the battle is sure to change. You guys, you know what? I'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Get it? Wink. Okay. I say we go play. Fortitude is zero. Is that really? That sounds really bad. My fortitude is zero. My reflex is five, which sounds pretty pog. And my will is one. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm not getting any red flags, so I'm gonna go with this. It's kind of scuffed, but <laughs> we got Darth Malaxel here and she's ready to go. <clears throat> I don't want to do it over, so. Three. Two. One. Good? Okay, we're good. Oh god, I'm so nervous. A long time ago. The classic. Oh god, am I gonna have to read? Knights of the Old Republic, 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Mo Molek! Molek! The last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan. Dark Lord has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Oh, I'm not the apprentice of the Dark Lord. They're doing that. Okay, crushing all resistance. Malax War <laughs> of the Conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable, and countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. What? So I messed this up? Wait, is Malak not me? I'm so confused. What is happening? In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, a Jedi Tar 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 of the ongoing the force of Darth Malak in a desperate... Effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Mr. Verbal, welcome in. No, I have no idea what's going on. So is Darth Malak me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, no! That's so cursed! Okay, wait, cutscene. Oh my god, I can't believe that. You guys <laughs> let me do that. <clears throat> it's Darth Malak! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> so what was that?
that was that my ship? Was that my ship being attacked? <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> <clears throat> She's got a cute little ponytail. Ah, sir! We've been ambushed by a SIF battle uh, Yes, and we've been expecting you. Hurry up, we don't have much time. That's Darth Malaxel to you. I can't believe that. I thought that, okay, you guys, <laughs> I was, can I just say, I was getting so confused because I thought that like, I, I was reading that almost like my name got cut off. Dark Lord of Tech, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Um, I thought that maybe my name got cut off and then I didn't even think that it's M A versus M E. For some reason my brain just read it the same. And so basically I just have a very close name <laughs> to <clears throat> the guy on the loading screen. Oh. Okay. Okay, I have a very similar name to to Darth Malak, so. Wait, we're supposed to warn you if you're gonna severely mess up. Yeah, the name is the name is so cringe, you guys. How could you let me name myself Darth Malaxel when the when the evil guy is called Darth? I can't even Malax. <laughs> like we're like twins. <clears throat> okay, anyway, this guy burst in, and I'm in my underwear. I think this is like her underwear, but who are you? The Ender Spire. We've been ambushed by Sith Battle Fleet. I saw that cutscene. The Ender Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. <laughs> the Ender Spire? Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? Dude! Our Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? No, I really don't. <laughs> I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. Wait, why are we bunkmates? I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who the heck is that? Who's Bastila? Oh, forget it. I'm looking after my own skin. <laughs> um, so this guy I've never met before, but he's my bunk. It's pronounced like Alec. Malik. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's better. It's still too similar. It's still too similar. I do like her bodysuit, kind of. Who's B Bastilla? Bastilla? Bastilla is the commanding officer Bastilla? of the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One what do you mean, not an officer? To guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. <clears throat> now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about Was he like undermining her authority? Spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured <gasps> if they catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. My now shady past? I'm mission, blushing. Part of the Republic fleet, and Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Okay, so that was <laughs> your shady past. As as we're being blown up by Sith. He has to t tell me how shady my past is. Sleeps in your bed when you're on shift and not using it. Ah, this Jenkins guy. <laughs> What's his name? Trask. Okay, let's go help. Oath or no oath, I'm heading to the escape pods. Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this. Alive. Great, he's already Hurry at the bottom of my team. list. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. He's no fun. No fun. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Where can I get my stuff? You can move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Oh, really? Ultimately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. <clears throat> cool. Move towards the footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera towards it. Then hold down the left mouse button as well. I feel like he's making this more complicated. Once the footlocker is selected, left click on it again to perform. Then it needs to be. Can you repeat that? No, don't. Please don't repeat that. Ooh, look at her butt too. I'm staying in this outfit. Geralt 2.0. Darth Malaxel. Take that, Darth M Malak. Whatever your name is. 
You can move the mouse <clears throat> to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Dude, what? To move towards the foot. I already move. clicked it. He's mansplaining. He's mansplaining. Why is he mansplaining to me? Stealth field generator. Computer spike. Oh no, I have zero skill. Security spike, blaster pistol, short sword, clothing, med pack. <clears throat> Also, I wanted to say, hello, Weirs, welcome in. I might miss some things in chat, you guys, because um, I haven't played this game before, so I'm going to try to pay attention to learn the controls and stuff and, and the characters and everything that's going on. So if I miss someone like coming into chat, please welcome them or uh, anything like that. I just might miss a few messages because I'm going to be try to be focusing just a little bit more than I usually do. <clears throat> Do you want me to tell you where the beak mask is? Yes. Okay. That was everything in there. Come on, we have to hurry. The Sith might already be I hope they're the boarding the ship. Capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. Okay. How do I equip? Use the equip screen to equip the armor and weapons from your inventory. You can access this screen by selecting the equip menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Use the mouse to look through your inventory slots. The menu on the right displays items you can equip in each slot. Okay. Left click the mouse to select an inventory slot. This seems then pretty scroll normal. The available items on the right and left click to equip one. It's not like I'm going to have that much stuff to to look through, right? Okay, so Equip, inventory, character sheet, abilities. Oh, these are bound to different keys too. Messages. <clears throat> so that's like a journal. I don't know what messages. Something different. Use the equip screen Bro. The armor and weapons from your inventory. I'm Can going to use the left. get away from you as soon as possible. Um. Okay. Party inventory screen shows a list of all the items not currently equipped by other party members or the companions back at your base. Okay, so we're gonna have like a party camp. Your chat log. Okay. Hello, Stormcrow. Yes, we're walking around in our underwear. Isn't it perfect? <clears throat> Left click to select. Can we get that as a sound bite? The inventory is shared by all party members. Oh, so they can take my stuff. Okay. So... We can use a short sword or a blaster pistol. I feel like, oh yeah, and I should be able to dual wield, right? <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, I only have one. <clears throat> That's sad. Uh, I can put on my clothes. Let's see what her clothes look like. So is that all I can put on? Oh wait, stealth field generator. This device enables stealth mode, a camouflage field that... So basically this is like my elven cloak. Hides the user. Is the sound okay by the way? Let me know. It seems like it varies between softer and like really loud. So I tried to find like a happy medium. Oh, the user must have uh, <clears throat> paid points into the stealth skill to use stealth mode. Cool, good thing I did. I think that's all I can do. I mean, I can't equip a blaster also. I can either have my sword or a blaster at one time. Okay, let's move out. We well, a sword seems pretty pog. Great. You can use the party selection to quickly switch party members in and out as you need them. Oh, at any time? His voice is low, okay. We'll see how the sound effects and um, battle sounds and stuff are. You're going to have to locate your fingers. <laughs> yeah, right? <clears throat> oh, there's the illusion command. Perfect. I love it. This is done instantly without having to return to your base. Oh, this is cool. Characters switch out of your party will wait for you back at your base. Any equipped items will remain on the character, so these not 
items will not show up in your inventory when a character is removed. Oh. You'll have to add the character to your party again if you want to access their equipped items. But you can just do it at any time. Okay, well, we don't have a choice. All we have is... So he's a soldier. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Why does he have the override codes? I'm suspicious. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. So you can turn into your party members, Let's like in Dragon Age. Me the party leader, then use me to open the door. Did it crash yet? No. Left click to target the door, then left click it again with the mouse to open it. Maybe I can adjust the the volume of like voices. The voiceover track? Does that mean I'm gonna I wanna put the music down a little bit? It's like a little bit loud in my ears, but I, I don't know if it's softer for you guys, but uh, voiceover is dialogue. Okay. Why am I so paranoid with pixels? I don't know. Too many books about drow lately. Uh. Okay. Let's see if that helps him. Oh, she does have a really nice butt. And legs. Oh, wait. I have to be him. Okay. So that's weird. I mean, it's now very, open, very Dragon Age. Switching Darth Malaxel back to party leader. <laughs> hey, I got experience. You can use S, W, C, and Z to move around. Okay. Instead of W, A, S, C. Hello. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. One of the <laughs> How did we see pilots. him? He's seen more combat than the rest of the Empire Spires crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get okay. to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. I feel like we're gonna get separated. You can access your journal, map, and other important menus by clicking on the menu icons in the upper right corner of the screen. Okay. You can use the mouse to switch between the menus listed on the tabs at the top of the screen. I guess I was kind of in that menu already. <clears throat> you can remap the keys. Okay. That must be awkward at part. For the Republic! <laughs> Our main, welcome in, welcome in. My first name is Darth, yes! You, I need to resume War of the Spider Queen. Yes, you do, you do. Now that you're starting to figure out your life. <clears throat> okay, this guy is kind of strange. I don't know how I feel about him. Active quests screen includes important information related to your ongoing adventures. Wow, they didn't even have an active quest section in the journal in Morrowind back in 2003. Uh, yes. Refer to this journal for game. hints and guidance throughout the game. Journal. So this is my messages, which just keeps track of everything ever said. So I can go and search for clues of when people went evil and turned against me. Attack on the Ender Spire. Okay, so this is my Karth Onasi, a highly respectable public sol Republic soldier. So I don't know how we saw Karth. He was like video chatting us or if that was just like we were just supposed to hear him. He's like on our portable communication devices. <clears throat> Shepard's booty is rather lacking. You're so right. <laughs> You're on holo chat. Oh yeah, I forgot holo chat. This is the yeah. Shep Shepard Shepard's got some boobage, but not a lot of. Oh, <gasps> that's so cutie. Can I can I repair him if I be this guy? No, he's he doesn't have any skills. <clears throat> oh, I just unlocked that because I'm a rogue. Look at that 4K combat. Must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. For the Republic. Wait, I need a soundbite of that too. <laughs> F, hello, F. How are you? 
Just in time. We literally just made our character. This is so pog already. Like, it's so cringe though. You guys don't tell F what I named. <laughs> okay. I accidentally named my character something really similar looking to the evil guy's <laughs> name. And I had no idea. They need a thickness slider. No, I seriously agree. I'm Garrus Macarian, <clears throat> and this is now my favorite spot on the CM. Thank you for conscripting the hit streamer F. The tier one sub to F adventure. Thank if you guys don't know F, subs in the channel is a is a code or a pro by the way, and is also a Mass Effect first playthrough pro right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, Renaticus gifted it? Oh! <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry! Wait! Why did I... I'm sorry. It's because you're both mods now. <laughs> it's because you're both mods. <laughs> CM, just take the credit. Just bow and take the credit. Renaticus, thank you for conscripting F. <laughs> and not CM. Um... Welcome in, F. Thank you for uh, drinking the Darkspawn blood and being here with us. Uh, so, we just got into our first combat. Enemy sighted, but but are they sexy? So these are like Sith. Are these actually Sith? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I used to do the same thing where I called Salt CM for a while. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you, Renaticus, for your valiant effort in still being called CM anyway. Um. <laughs> okay, critical strike. Enemy side, use the pause key, space or pause to continue. So I can basically go up with my sword and click this. Left clicking the mouse activates the selected combat feat. A character's available combat feat appear in the first icon of the target menu. Well, that's pretty useful. So I don't have to put a lot of thought into it. Oh yeah, look at me go! What is he doing? Bro. I'm scared. Wait, why is he not- No, you attack this guy. I've got a feeling that won't be our last He's so bad. He's so bad. Why was he standing battle? point blank to it when he has a gun? He has a blaster! And he ran right up to it! <laughs> I never thought to myself if the enemy is sexy, if it's Darth Maul, you better start thinking about it. <laughs> no, melee brain shooting, I guess. <clears throat> um. Anyway, moving on from that disaster of misnaming the bots. How do I use med packs? To use an item like a med pack or another self-targeting. He reminds me power. of someone. You'll need to know how to use your action menu. Mm-hmm. In the lower right of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can select- He says everything like it's a commercial. <laughs> he, he says like, you'll have to know how to use your action menu. And then in the next sentence, he's like, Left click the icon you want to use to activate that power or item. Clicking on the arrows above and below the icon will cycle <clears throat> to other powers or items. Okay, so it's like a like a hot keyed the thing. The first icon of the action menu. The is for action menu. Powers. The second is for medical items such as med packs and antidote kits. Med packs, antidote kits. The third icon is for miscellaneous items such as miscellaneous. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the fourth icon is for mines. And only okay, I'm probably never gonna use those. And have the demolition skill. Okay, that's cool. Can you repeat that? No, please don't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sassing this guy so much already. Okay, so he wants me to use a med pack, advanced med pack. Did I use it? It says full health. You have multiple powers or items in each icon of the action menu. You scroll up or down using the mouse wheel or cycle through the various- but Yeah, that's what he said. So I have five of those. Advanced med pack, med pack. Oh, that's all I have. 
I wish they kept this. Tell me what to do, Jenkins. <laughs> it's so janky. It is fun, though. I mean, honestly, I'm saying it's fun, but we only just came out into the hallway, but I'm having a good time. Was there anything back here I missed? So I came out of there. Oh my god. So I probably shouldn't stand there. The Sith really are. They really are blowing up the ship. Wow. Hello, friends. So does it pause you every time it goes into combat? Heron from DAO. Oh, that's so funny. Quesadilla? Okay, good luck with packing Fahrenheit. Quesadillas are good. I hope it's a good quesadilla. Oh no, I need to update the thing. It says I'm playing Witcher 3. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just casually looking at- your hat is so distracting I keep glancing over at it, that's the point. Kill him, begin your ascent to the dark side. <laughs> I could kill him, I wouldn't feel bad about it. Okay, let's go on the Sith soldier. Now, you stand back here and shoot gun at them. Shoot blaster. No, he's so bad! Shoot that guy. Yeah. That's teamwork. I have to tell this guy what to do. SMH. Can I search your body? Credits. Grenade. Ooh. And bed pack. I haven't been watching my health, honestly. I should probably use that. <gasps> Guys, I almost died. No one even panicked. I almost died. Short sword, long sword. <gasps> Wait, can I equip both swords now? Can I do a long sword and a short? Oh my god, I can be Artemis. I can be Artemis and Trary. I can be Artemis and Trary. <sighs> okay, I have a short sword and a long sword. Do the short swords have different stats? Or is it like all the same? Did I get something else? Oh, a combat suit. Is that armor? Armor proficiency light. Defense bonus for dexterity bonus. Even the most frugal of mercenaries know they need at least some protection. Unlike Geralt. <laughs> so this is uh oh, there are. Short sword equipped does one to six damage. One to six. So these are identical. But I'm guessing they won't all be identical. <laughs> Illusion. I love that. Naked run only. Maybe once I get OP, we can rip off our clothes. Is there going to be a spicy scene in this? Okay, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't have a spicy scene in Mass Effect Andromeda, you know? Look at her! I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Look at those swords. Okay. Um, anything else I can loot? Metal box, med pack credits. Cool. I forgot that they call everything credit. Bonus means the max bonus you can have with that armor. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So basically, if I wear heavier armor, it's going to impact my decks. Right? I know, look at her butt. Oh, I can loot here too. Already looted that. I feel like I have to be kind of like paying attention to these labels. Because I'm almost missing some of these things. There's another grenade. Like, I don't know if I missed stuff back here. It's kind of hard to see them almost. Unless you're standing like right by it. Yeah, we should use that butt command more. Come on. We have a lot of good commands. <clears throat> so are the Sith the red ones or the shiny ones? Because I already forgot. Oh, that's... Well, both of them just died. 
Uh, the Sith are the shiny ones, it turns out. <gasps> I could throw a grenade! Uh, I'd yes, catch a grenade you. for ya! <laughs> PJ, thank you for the follow, welcome in! They're trying to kill me, right? You'd think they'd be dressed in, like, red or something. I'm gonna throw a grenade. Oh yeah, look at that aim! They never saw it coming. I'm gonna go for this guy. He's running straight up to them with his blaster. Oh, I got I should have gotten a backstab for that. Whenever you spot an enemy, left click on the selected enemy once to enter combat mode. This will lock the camera on your selected target. I think they already told me this. Left clicking the target again causes your character to perform the default action. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Hashtag shiny Sith. <laughs> My shiny Sith and me. They twinkle just like the stars in space. I'm doing great. Sorry, I'm so hype right now. Okay, let's search these bodies. And these are my fellow soldiers that have, I mean, my fellow Republic. Apparently the Republic has these like ugly red outfits. Not a fan. We're gonna have to change that. I was hoping those were the Sith, but the Sith are like, uh, as always, just well-dressed. So there's a door here. Should I go through that? Or should I go this way? I don't know if this was a dead end. Oh wait, they said there's a map. I didn't even look at the map. Um, map shows the explored area of the level and your party's location. Is this map, the real question is, is this map gonna be better? Wait, you can do, did you do the pet the streamer? I totally missed it, did it work? Did it work? Um, So I'm like, is this map gonna be better than the Mass Effect maps, which were, they could have been so much better. It contains map notes, designating important areas. Some levels, such as city areas, are fully mapped before you explore them. That's kind of cool. It worked. Cool. Carrots man, welcome in! Um. Okay. I'm glad that it worked. I pet the hat instead of you. <laughs> oh, right there! <laughs> pet the hat. It depends on if I'm sitting up straight or I'm slouching. Okay, so... It looks like the other door is probably the way that we have to go, but... <gasps> no! Did a droid just die? I'm gonna cry. I'm already gonna cry. Damn you, Trask! Fix him! Is Trask almost dead? Oh, he's almost dead. Uh... Yeah, heal yourself. So I can't go this way. Droids do have feelings. Flurry is your BFF. What is a flurry? Like a like a move in combat? Like a McFlurry? It's a dark Jedi. This <gasps> too much for us. We gotta stay back. What do you mean a dark All Jedi? <laughs> Wait, is that a Sith? Ooh. Oh. Oh! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Bro, I was not expecting that. Okay, well. You know how it goes. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Flurry power. Okay, we'll see. Um, they'll explain the distinction between Jedi, Dark Jedi, Sith. Okay, I'm so excited. Move. Oh, look at that twofer. You guys, this is so fun. <laughs> this is. I'm having such a good time. It doesn't even seem too bad, the gameplay. Like, maybe it's just because I've played a lot of old games. 
Or like a decent amount of old games. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we should have picked up their sabers. You're right. Mm. Okay, they killed everyone in here. Is this the bridge? Uh, hmm. Those guys are alive back there. I probably shouldn't throw the grenade that far, but we can maybe throw the grenade here. Oh no! Time to go in the old fashioned way. Come on! This reminds me of Dragon Age Origins combat a little bit. Are you kidding? This- but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Listen, I said initially that I wanted to head toward the escape pods, and he was like, No, we have to help them. And then he's like, Oh, they probably left to the escape pods. Okay, well, I guess we're going there anyway. So it seems like you can't loot everybody. Ooh, backpack? I didn't even look what that had. I got some light armor and I've got weapons. I'll probably never change it again. <laughs> okay, not to meme, but uh, you guys know how I am. Uh, you have enough experience to level up. You must level up before you pass through the door. That's really ominous. How do I level Left up? Click on the character record menu icon <laughs> he knows in the everything. upper right corner of the screen. Then follow the instructions given on the screen. Okay, dude. Let me check over here first. This is so cool. Is it bad? I don't think this even looks that bad. I could get sick staring at that though. Like, definitely, this reminds me of, like, a... This is exactly taken from, like, an early 2000s screensaver. Did you guys have those on your computers? I used to sit and stare at that. Is that weird? Okay. I don't look at this backpack again, because I don't see... Like, can I... Can I take the backpack? No. Okay. Well, we have to level up now. Oh, also, can I save? Oh, I probably should save. Uh. New. Game. New me. <laughs> it looked amazing. Must tutorial. Yeah, the XP is always worth it. Yeah, the warp screen. <laughs> the pipes. I remember that too. The hair physics? Wait, what is it? You might want to remap quick saves to the standard F5. How do you do that? Oh, in like settings? Before quick save and quick load were standard keys. So I'm gonna have to save like this or I'm gonna have to. Curves and colors. Is that the one where it's just the color zooming around? Gameplay, okay. Auto save. Oh, wait. The game will auto save every time you move to a new area. If you do not have an auto save in the last 15 minutes, you should manually save often. Oh god. The game will only auto save in certain plot critical areas. You should manually save often. Okay. So, key mapping. Quick save. The key will quick save the game. F5, right? That's what it usually is. Quick load? I don't think I want a quick load. If I accidentally have F, it was head F. F5 is quick load. I'm going to keep it like this. A bunch of wavy lines changing colors. Yeah, that one I remember too. F9 for quick load. I never use that one. So I'm just going to leave that blank so I don't accidentally click it when I'm like 
raging on the keyboard, you know what I mean? Okay. That should have done it, right? I hope hopefully that kept it. I mean, we could test it. Was that a save? <laughs> that was scaring me. Is quick load by default and what became the quick save keys? That's saving. It's saving so fast. Okay. I think that's I think that we're good. Okay, I have to level up now. I almost forgot. Um Auto level up or level up? I think I kind of want to do auto level up. <gasps> There's a lighter dark scale. You guys can't see my head's blocking it. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe I'll have to move the camera around, but that would be a lot of effort too. Um, but I'm just in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna do, wait, level up auto is bad. <sighs> I always do auto. I've gotten through mass effect on auto. Oh, you're right. I can do that for companions. <laughs> I can do that for companions. <laughs> okay, but don't yell at me when I auto level up companions because I don't want to take the time to do all of their stats. I'm just, I don't. <laughs> I'll probably auto level them. Okay, but for me, I have how many points? Okay, so I needed a thousand points. I have a thousand two hundred. My defense is. 19 my vitality is two out of six where does it say my strength 10 dexterity plus what these are the bonuses i'm getting from items or something i don't know what this column is oh this is my modifier this is my modifier okay level up how many points do i get I'm so confused. Do I not get to level up my like attributes right now? It looks like I can't. My stats. I don't I don't actually modify my stats. I just choose my skills. Okay, okay. You gotta pass it. Okay. So not every time. Every four is attributes. Okay. I've played other games like that too, so that makes sense. Um, so skills. I guess, yeah, I hadn't thought about. We get five points for these. So let's do persuasion. Let's do stealth. Let's do awareness. Any advice for my last two points? Demolitions, computer. Should I give myself one in computer? Repair or security? Computer use, you think? Yeah, like in D&D. &D, that's what it is. I'm like, there's other games I play that are like that. D&D, &D, actually. We could do... I feel like I should give myself one in computer use. But I don't know. I tend to do the thing where I want to, like, be be really moderately okay at everything and then I'm really bad at one thing. Or you can save them. Oh. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna do this for now. Feats. So I can get one new feat. If, if you guys ever have advice for this, what's recommended? They still want me to do dueling. Which I don't have to do. If I'm gonna be dual wielding, I don't really need that, I don't think. Um, this feat gives a plus one bonus to demolition and stealth. Persuade awareness and treat injury. Empathy, that sounds cool. Feet, <laughs> I know I hate it. <clears throat> what is this? Flurry. This feat, this is what you're talking about. Allows a character to make an extra melee attack during the round. Characters suffer minus four to defense while using this. So basically you're going to be like really high DPS. And for three seconds afterward, they also suffer a minus four for all attacks that round. So basically you have a chance to do high damage, but you might die. But you guys are advising me to do flurry. I kind of want this empathy one too. 
<laughs> two weapon fighting? Okay, I got I got two weapon fighting already. That's the one I got last time. So let's do it. Let's get the flurry. McFlurry it is. So now that should come up for me in combat. Um. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to go back. Did I still have it? No, I undid it accidentally. Um, flurry. Add. Okay. Accept. I can scroll the combat menu. Nice. Wondering about difficulty in the settings under gameplay. The top option is difficulty. Okay, I can look at that. I don't know if it starts you on normal or easy or what. Um, let's do a quick save. Then let's look at that. Normal. Okay, I'm on normal difficulty now. I'm probably going to leave it on that for now. Oh, okay, set to normal. Four sword style like Grievous. Grievous is my... Grievous is my icon. Except he also kills all the Night Sisters, which is really messed up and totally unnecessary. But um, There's something behind here. Oh, yes, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off. Dark Jedi, the I want to wanna be no. like you. They all look the same, though. <gasps> Wait, did he just die? Oh, <laughs> Wait, is he gone? Like. Um, oh my god! Oh shoot! Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> That's so messed up! All I did was make fun of him the whole time. This is Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape okay. pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait to- <gasps> So he did die! To get to the escape pods, but be careful. It's a Sith patrol just down the corner. Oh, He's hey, I'm so good at stealth. stealth. This will be fine. He's with Jenkins now. <laughs> May Ray, it's so good to see you. How are you? You know what? That was... I should have expected that in a Bioware um, walkthrough. Or not walkthrough, a uh, tutorial. Bald-headed Dark Jedi. You know what? That's pretty sexy. How do I use my stealth skill? Make sure you have a stealth now he's tutorial. Oh no! <laughs> Don't worry, he took over the role. Use the mouse and click on the stealth button to activate it. Why did his voice just change? The generator will wrap you in a cloaking effect so you can sneak past the Zed. Just be careful you don't get too close, or he might notice someone's there. Wait, can you repeat that? First, make sure you have a stealth field generator equipped on your- Use the mouse and click on the stealth button to activate it. He's got a voice changer? The generator or is that the game the talking to me? Sneak past the Sith. Just be careful you don't get is that- close. Oh, that's but the game talking to me! So, how come the other guy can be like a tutorial but this guy can't? That's so weird. Okay, so... I know they said use the mouse to click on it, but I don't really get where it is. Oh. Am I supposed to use it now? I'm confused. Where is it? It's not in this menu. Karth is a real character. Is that Kaden? <laughs> it looks like Kaden. You're right. I never listened to Karth. You can scroll the combat menu. Oh, the combat menu. So I have to wait until I'm in combat with them. Okay. Okay. Wait. How do I... Your stealth is on the other side. Wait, what do you mean? Where? What? Pause game. I'm confused. 
You can use the mouse wheel. Yeah, but where 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 are you talking about? Like, because it's not in here. The other side from where you were looking on. Kill tutorial companions. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. You scrolled over Flurry. I know, I'm trying to I'm trying to sneak. He told me to sneak past them, but I I don't know where that is. The left side of the screen. Okay, over here. Oh, stealth. This pause on stealth, okay. Oh. So I'm like invisible and sneaking. I don't know how long that lasts. Okay. Run! I do need more points and awareness. Yeah, I was looking in the in the menu. I thought it would be in one of the other slots in the combat thing. The combat combat circle wheel stuff. But Oh shoot. Well Don't really know if I can sneak past you guys. But I can try. Nope. Can't go over here. I feel like I'm gonna like have to get too close to them. Oh, okay. Or not. I'm guessing I have to use this security panel. System loading complete. Enter command. Computer slicing tutorial. Oh no. This is the computer skill that I didn't want. <laughs> no, I do feel the need to tell you that you won't get loot or XP from sneaking past them. So should I not sneak past them? even though he told me to, is there any consequence of me, like, not choosing to sneak past them then? Because I was doing it partially to practice the skill, but also, like, because he was like, sneak past the enemies. There isn't any XP from sneaking. Okay. Okay. I see. Sneaking is bad. <laughs> yes, we've been expecting you. Mr. Asthmatic, thank you for the follow. You can kill them pretty easily. Okay, um, I don't know what to do with this. Computer slicing tutorial, view starboard, transport module. Uh, oh, so like I'm spying on a different room? Overload, power, conduit. Should I do this? I don't know what's going on. Players can slice into computers and try to override or reprogram existing commands. Requires computer spikes. So you only have a certain amount of those. More complicated reprogramming requires more spikes. The number of spikes required varies depending on the computer skill of the character slicing the terminal. You need five, that cost is modified by the computer skill. Oh, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Mayray? Um. The week honestly went by really fast for me. I was spending a lot of time trying to get Kodor ready and things like that so I could play it tonight. Um, so I was working on a lot of like stream related stuff. Currently I have one. Oh, so I can't even do this anyway. Bye. Oh, look at that. I'm not invisible anymore. Let's go flurry. Do you see how fast he died? Okay, so, oh, I don't have a party member anymore, so that's kind of... Can I just flurry as much as I want? Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their... Oh, this is what you it was supposed to be. the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal. Yeah, I probably can't do either of those. Systems against the Sith. I probably can't do those things. I'm sorry to let you down. Um. 
Oh, there's a computer. See, I got ahead of myself. I was... Wait, is this guy... Oh, that's a droid? Oh, I definitely thought that was a... I wish there were clones in this game. <sighs> Repair tutorial. Some droids in the game are disabled. Their damage can be repaired by the player. Fixing a droid in the manner requires repair parts. I have eight of those. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear that, but I did. <laughs> I hate it. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like we were so eager to get in the game. I didn't... Mayre's question of like, how is my week? I'm like, I feel like I didn't hear about anyone's week during our chatting. <laughs> and now I'm pissed. Uh, should I reactivate it? Repair skill. Yeah. Four repair parts. Engage droid in patrol mode. I mean... I don't know what's... It will attack any enemies that come into range. Patrol mode? What the heck is patrol mode? So shields means it will probably live longer. Came back from dinner with co-workers. Ooh. Everyone's so excited. I know, right? <laughs> it's always fun starting a new game. Like, I was very, very hyped about this. Do you want to reactivate the droid and help you in combat? Or overload and kill the enemies? It will walk a patrol route. Okay. I mean, sure, we'll try it. Destroy enemies it encounters. Cool. I got experience for doing that. Oh, hey, look at it. Wait, why is my character just standing there? That was kind of... <laughs> I think I might have clicked too many times, but this droid killed everyone. Unlike what's his name. Sorry, I already forgot his name. <gasps> Vero Blade. We get a Vero Blade? Wait, I gotta check that out. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <gasps> Long arm! Thank you for the... Emma. 21 centuries! 21 and one half century. How are you? I hope you're doing well. What's the chaos? I did my part. You're right. You did. You tried. You really tried. I was so distracted on the game. Honestly, I did I did talk about something for an hour, but Trask Jenkins. Never forget. Okay, let's check out this Vero Blade or whatever. Ver vibro? <laughs> vibro. Oh. Where? I can't use these. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Vibro. <laughs> vibro blade. Uh, physical, 1 to 10. Plus 1. 19. Okay. If used in the offhand. I don't know. Is this like... I don't really... I don't know what the, the benefit of this is. What is the benefit of this? Vibro. Vibro? Oh. That sounds like vibe. Brader or something. Life is starting to settle down a bit, so that's good. Good. I hope you get to maybe rest a little bit. Um. I don't know what the benefit of this weapon is, because it does less damage. And... It says balanced. 
but I don't know what that... Hunter! Oh my god, I would love that. I would love that. Hunter. It's gotta happen. Did someone not make a compilation video of that? Vibrating blade. Oh, it makes sense. Mod this to make it stronger, but you can't with the other. Okay, okay. So maybe right now... I'll just put it in the offhand. I don't know. Mm, no new weapon. I mean, no new armor. Oh, you can get like a helmet at some point. So I could, I got a better blaster too, but. Oh, you can't see the description. Oh yeah. It, it does less damage than my other, than my long blade. But it says like balanced plus you two. just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. He does remind me of Caden. How do I know I can trust you? This is such a me question. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Ender's fire. Hmm? Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the mm -mm. Come on, there'll be time for questions later. You know what? That's suspicious. Because he was like, you're the last crew member alive. And now he's like, we're the last two crew members alive. Okay, I should not be suspicious, but Rock Protector, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. It's balanced for use to reduce the penalty in your offhand. Ah, uh, I see. I see. So this is Karth. Escape pod. So that's it. We're just going to run away. Is this the end of the tutorial? I'm going to do a quick save. It's not like he didn't exist before. <sighs> he is Caden. <laughs> I'm suspicious of literally like everyone. Don't take it personally. This is the last escape pod and your only hope of survival. Get in the escape pod before he can. Use the escape pod or step away. Wait, why is it asking me this? Don't we have to use the escape pod? Why would I step away? Does that just mean I'm gonna keep exploring? Or does it mean like use the escape pod is like I'm gonna go without him? You made your PC left-handed. Oh. Does that matter? I didn't even think about that. Oh, it just means exploring. Okay. So we're gonna use the escape pod. <laughs> The cutscenes always take like a second to show up on the on the stream. Was that our escape pod? That bed does not look comfortable. Is, uh, is that like a vision, like a force vision? Was that me or was that a different woman? Because they looked kind of similar. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about. Ah. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Nope. Forgot. Totally forgot. <laughs> Taurus. The game doesn't recognize left-handed, so your weapons are backward. Oh. Okay, I'll have to check that out. They place... The way they place main and offhand, I think the game made the PC left-handed. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Hello, Baker! Do you recognize his voice? Yeah, why does he sound familiar? Darth Meat <laughs> How are you? Rapier to go with the hat, right? Caden- No, it actually is! That's actually Caden's voice? Because I was like... Is 
Is that really? Well, well, well. It's been... Two years. It's been two years, Caden. It's been two years. I had a strange dream, like a vision or something. There were dark spawn and a dragon. <laughs> okay, I'll check my my weapons after this too. That's really cool though. I was like, hmm, recycled kind of word. <laughs> Guys. It's been two years. I was, I really th was like this. He reminds me of Caden. And he looks kind of similar too, honestly. I'm Darth Malax. <laughs> How did we get here? Um, Karth, the one on. Oh, you can scroll. Oh, shoot. I have to keep that in mind. Where am I and how did I get here? Hmm, I don't know if I want to tell him I had a strange dream because I don't know if I don't know if I can trust this guy so I'm like that seems pretty personal I could introduce myself <sighs> Karth was Caden 1.0 you're right you're right where am I and how did I get here I've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now so I imagine you're pretty confused about things Try not to worry. We're safe. A couple of days? We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away oh, from the lucky crash boy. And confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. That seems pretty lucky. The Sith? I guess I owe you my life. Thanks. Oh, another question. I don't know if this is something I can ask without spoilers, but how do you f know if you're flirting with people slash is it is it not going to be clear? Because I'm guessing it's just going to be a dialogue option and I'm just going to be like, oh, that's maybe flirtatious and I'm just going to figure out after. They mostly all fight on the screen. Oh, fit on the screen. I see. It does it say flirt? Hello, Pegasus. It's good to see you. I wish it I wish it would say flirt because I, I feel like this is going to end up like Mass Effect 1, was it? Where you didn't know? It's very heavy handed flirt. OK, I, I almost forgot that there's going to be romance in this game. <laughs> I probably won't. Hey, shh, shh. The Sith? Are we going to wait here for the Republic to rescue us? I'm saying the Sith. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting Terrace. the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service okay. records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. Pretty good with languages. Come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Well, he's my new companion, I guess. Why is it so important to find <laughs> Bastila? She's the one from the Ender Spy, right? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. <laughs> Bastila's a Jedi. Don't be she rude. Was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spy and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Why is he so quiet? He's like talking way quieter than the other guy was before. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? If Bastila is a Jedi, she could probably look after herself. Oh, wow. Um, I'm also not sure if I can ask like multiple questions in a conversation or if it's only... You said it right? Malik. Malik. At least that's how he was saying it. I think you can see all of your dialogue, which helps Shepard isn't just going to blurt something out. <laughs> Give you all my points for Tarthos romance. The voice volume is really low. Yeah, I feel like when I increased it, I can try adjusting it 
and turn up the overall volume and turn down the music, but like the music and the effects get really loud. Um, at least you can read what they're saying, you know, but still. Uh, I get Kodor and Flirt won't appear, but the dialogue will be very obvious. Okay, that's helpful. <laughs> Malik wrong. Um, Mal Malaxel, Malik. What a pair. Uh, how do you even know Ballista? Bastilla. I keep saying Ballista. Bastilla. Bastilla is still alive. That's how you say. Forget it. I'm not risking my life to try and save her. Any idea where we should start looking for Bastilla? Well, shoot. I don't know what to say here. How do you know Bastila is still alive? I feel like that's a good thing to ask. Jenkins 1.0. It will let you go back and choose the other options on the screen if they're unrelated. Okay. I guess that's something I'll just have to feel out and get kind of used to. <laughs> you grew up in the city on the guy. <laughs> I don't, but Bastila is young and she has a powerful command of the force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malik and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. So he's just coping. Okay. How can one, even a Jedi, be so important? Vassala is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Vassala's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence. Like a paladin? And enemies lose their will to fight. A bard? Also, that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course, there are limits to what she can do. But from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. How does he know that she got out alive? But he just said he didn't know. Mm. What do you suggest we do next? If Basil is a Jedi, she can probably look after herself. That's pretty true. Basil is gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers. Malak. <laughs> it is Malaxel Malak. I've already killed more than their share. Of I love it. Swore. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. And if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. What's in this from me if I help you out? I think I'll take my chances on my own. Any idea where we should start looking? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity Ooh. is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves I want to go. The Emperor had the same power? A Jedi cheerleader? No, like a escape pod, but doesn't know what happened. Okay, after that. So he's just, okay. Um, I want to ask I'll you some you questions. I, can, I, I don't know how much help it'll be. What do you know about Malik? Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the Darth Malik. Darth Revan, his Sith master. <laughs> With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who. <gasps> is he looking for an apprentice? Just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi yeah. become such a monster. A Jedi? A Sith Lord? <laughs> uh, sounds like Malak and the Sith. <laughs> I have the right idea. A Jedi, what do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the outer rim. Something happened. Oh. There. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. Interesting. They formed an army of 
ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastila's Jedi. So, like, the dark but Jedi. didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. <sighs> Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. So you can just immediately be like, oh, these Sith are pretty cool. Um, I feel like right now... I don't have any reason to I'll tell you whatever I can though I, I don't know how much mm, the planet Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers but that was a long time ago the upper city was so it like Coruscant is still pretty safe if it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine it might not even be a bad place to live but farther down things have degenerated the the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack... What? Inside. I've already entered all this info into your data pad. Like Darkspawn? I've entered... <laughs> what? He's in my data pad? When you're asking how you know the difference between the good and bad options, yeah. I don't know how to, like... Yeah, light and dark. How would I swoop kings? How 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 do I just decide how to play my character? Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Tasty Miso, welcome in. Little literal dark spawn. Wait, really? I'm excited for that. I mean, even if they're like dark spawn similar. What do I know about them? I'd like to know more about you, Karth. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay suspicious on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Hmm. Okay, let's Good go. Yeah, we can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the dark Jedi interrogation techniques. This oh. Can do terrible things to a mind. Ooh. Wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. He's so nervous. All right, soldier, let's move out. Why do you call me soldier? Why is he in charge of me? I don't like that. 